Hello and welcome to Buck's Wild Outdoors. If this is your first time here, please So guys, thank you for uh, joining this episode. What I'm going to do today is go over the, the new SD Fly 2 app for Swell Pro. The Splash Drone 4 specifically. Um, I just got the aircraft back and the remote back from Urban Drone. I had some issues with the remote. This is the third remote for this aircraft. Well. This is the second aircraft that I've had because if you, one of the videos up here, um, the, uh, the aircraft crashed on me. And then once this was replaced, um, I flew it for a couple weeks and then I put it away, sat for about four months. I pulled everything out to get it ready for vacation, which I leave in two weeks to go back to the Outer Banks and uh the remote didn't work i plugged it in it gave me a green light saying it was on it was uh, fully charged i let it sit overnight on charge got up remote would not turn on for nothing so i sent it back to urban drone and urban drone just replaced the remote and uh now everything seems to be working very well hopefully i didn't just jinx myself but thank you urban drone you guys have been fantastic Y'all are awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. So, without further ado, um, here is the results of the SD Fly 2 app. All right, guys. So, I'm going to start with my iPad. Now, my iPad's an iPad 7th Gen. Um, and the ISO update is a 15.3. So, as you can see down in the compatibility, it says works on this iPad. And it requires an iPad OS of 10.0 or later. I'm a 15.3. Again, and it works with uh, iPhone, iPod, um, iPod Touch, and all that stuff. Just going through some of the screens here. Um, it, it looks like a great uh, app. It says SD Fly 2 is... A whole new flight app designed by Swell Pro. It makes the new era of Swell Pro SD Fly 2 allow Swell Pro pilots to do live HD viewing, adjust aircraft gimbal and camera specs, proceed mission planning, uh, include route planning and grid flight planning, do live streaming and sharing aerial footage. This app currently supports the Splash Drone 4. So uh, I go into the app uh, on my iPad. The, the remote control is connected to the aircraft. Um, and I've, I've, I've got the, uh, the Wi-Fi set up on it. So in the new SD Fly 2, if you notice up in the upper left-hand corner beside Swell Pro, it says IMU. Well, I know there's not a problem with my aircraft nor the remote. Over to the right, where you see the icons, you have the aircraft, NA, so it's not reading the aircraft, it's not reading the satellite, it's not reading the RC, it's not re uh, reading the battery. However, I'm, I've got uh, access to camera and all that stuff using the RC. As you can see here, the RC is connected to the aircraft and everything's running as it should. So I go to my iPhone, which is an iPhone 11, with the um, most recent update on it. And I'm going to go ahead and log in the device on this one. As you notice, IMU, upper left. Also in the upper right, there's no data for the aircraft, satellite, RC, or battery. And also down in the bottom... To the right of the map, there's no data there in reference to distance, height, and stuff like that. However, I have control of the camera. So this is 
this bothers me. Uh, I, I'm getting ready to go on vacation in two weeks. So I'm not going to use this app uh, for the simple fact that I don't know what's going to happen. But this with this new app, you can change your units from metric, I mean, from meters to feet. Um, obviously, it's not reading everything from the remote because you don't have flight control firmware. You don't have remote control firmware. You don't have any of that stuff. But you do have your camera version. Uh, you can do your gimbal settings. Um, with this, if you have issues with the transmission, you can change the channels. Low battery warnings, you can actually uh, put low battery warnings in there. Uh, return to height, I mean return to home height. Um, just a lot of different things that the other app does not have. Like low battery return home, low battery automatic delivery. So if you have a release on your aircraft, it'll automatically release whatever's on there and return to home. So I'm going to go into the original uh, SD Fly app. And as you can see, upper right hand corner, you're already reading uh, the GPS because I got it in GPS mode. It's already reading the satellites. It's reading the RC. It's reading battery. And over to the left, uh, not arms. Obviously, I don't have the aircraft engaged flying. And to the right of the map, I'm getting data. So I don't know what's happening with the new SD Fly 2 app. Uh, I wish that it was working properly. It says that it's compatible with my iPad. It says it's compatible with my iPhone. But I'm not going to use that app because, again, I go, to, I go on vacation in two weeks and I don't want something to happen by putting that aircraft up using the new SD Fly 2 app and I lose connection and something happens to my aircraft. I've, I've had enough problems with the aircraft as it is. Matter of fact, I just got it back uh, from Urban Drones for replacing my remote control again. All right, guys. So uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I really don't. Um, I know the IMU. I, once the aircraft came back um, last week, I've only had it up a couple times, but... I've redone the IMU, the gyro, and the um, compass. All that stuff has been calibrated on this aircraft. So I don't know what that SD Fly 2 app is, is saying. I don't know why it's not reading the data from the remote. I, I don't know. Um, I've tried to rack my head around it, and I just I can't figure it out. It's saying it's compatible for the Splash Drone 4, and that's exactly what this aircraft is. But, yeah, I can't figure it out. If you know what it is, and if I'm doing something wrong, please don't hesitate. Put it in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Because um, I'm sure somebody out there knows a little bit more than I do. But, um, yeah, I, either I'm doing something wrong or there's something wrong with the actual app itself. On the, on the Swell Pro side. Some of you guys may be wondering why, all right, so the channel's name is Bucks Wild Outdoors. Uh, it, I hunt, I fish, all that stuff, and, um, and you're probably figuring, why are you talking about drones? Well, this drone right here, specifically for my purposes, is for drone fishing. Uh, You'll see uh, one of the links up here when I when I go to the Outer Banks, I go shark fishing from the shore. I use this drone to fly the bait out, and once I get out to a certain point where I like it, I'll drop the bait and shark fish. We caught six last year, so it actually has a bait release on it. Um, 
there has been some issues with this drone. Uh, I don't know about anybody else. I just know that I have had issues with the drone. Um, when I researched it before I got the drone, I fell in love with it. I was like, oh, I've got to have that. And I bought one. And it just seems like each, each couple months I'm having something different going on with the aircraft. Something wrong, something wrong. Um, it's got the latest firmware updates, again, the IMU, the gyro, compass, all that stuff is taken care of. Um, so yeah, um, again, I, I don't know if, if I'm doing something wrong or, or what, but if you know, please leave it in the comments. So again, as I said, I am going away in two weeks to go to Outer Banks, so hopefully I'll have some good footage for you guys uh, when I post the next video. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys soon.